Hello guys and welcome to another tutorial. So today I'm going to be explaining the very basics of projection painting in Blender. In fact, here is a little example of one of my projects you can see here. So in this example here, what I did, and I'll explain this in a little more detail in a second when we get into the tutorial, but what I essentially did is I went and I got a whole compilation of images together, as you can see here. And these images were ones I got off the internet and I just took them into GIMP and just pasted them all out onto this image here. Then I came into edit mode and I did this really messy and rough projection, um, UV projection onto these um, images here. And then once I was done with that, I created a second UV map. And this, I'm gonna show you how to do this. And this one was a lot neater, a lot um, more efficiently laid out. So then I projected those images onto a final base texture with a nicer UV map. So if all that sounds a little bit confusing, I'm gonna um, simplify it by doing a little um, a little example scene that we're gonna do. So we're gonna be using this image here and we're gonna be projecting this little baby monkey face onto the Suzanne monkey head that comes default with Blender. Just to make things a little bit easy for you so you can kind of understand the basics. So if everything I said just now sounds a little bit complicated. Um, it should make more sense once we get into this tutorial. So just look in the description below. You can get this image downloaded on Pixabay for free. So just come here, download the image. I just put mine on my desktop, as you can see here, the little monkey um, face. And then we can get into this little tutorial here where I'll show you the basics. So let's go ahead, open up a new scene in Blender. So this is just an empty scene here. And let's go ahead, shift A, let's go to our mesh options. And like I said, you can use anything, but I'm just using the Suzanne monkey head here as an example. So I'm adding in the Suzanne monkey head. And you can see a very nice thing about this as well. If you actually go to your UV editing here with the, U, the monkey head selected, you can see it already comes pre UV unwrapped. And this UV unwrapping here is really good, really efficient. It's taking um, up as much space as possible. So it's very clean and very efficient. We don't have to have too big of an image to get a lot of information in there. So they've done a really good job just off the bat by default here. So that already takes care of that for us. So you can come here to your object data properties. You can go over here to the UV maps and you can see this is the default one. So let's call this default one here our projection. So or actually let's call it our base because the base is gonna be the final one where we project the final image onto the one that's gonna look really good. So that's this UV map here. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna click on the little plus here and let's um, double click on this and let's call this one projection. Now this projection UV map is, for example, if we have this projection selected and we um, we get this monkey head here selected and we go U, U, U and project from view. Now you can see over here, we have a new UV map, which is our projection. And if we click here on our base, you can see this is our original here, which is the base one we're gonna be painting onto. This is the neat organized one. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna select our projection one. So we can even call it projection front because it's gonna be from the front, um, just to stay organized. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna go open over here in our UV editing, go to the desktop or wherever, and we're gonna get that um, projection image. In this case, it's this little monkey here. Now it's not the best image. It ha is kind of really soft focus here. It's a lot of um, really bright highlights, but this is just an example. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go into our front orthographic view over here, and then we're gonna hit U and we're gonna go project from view. And make sure that that is happening on your projection front selected here. And then what we can do is we can move um, vertices around here and line things up. But at the moment, we're not gonna be able to see anything here to see how it's lining up. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go over here to our um, materials um, tab. We're gonna click on new. It's gonna add a material to this monkey and let's just call it monkey. And what we wanna do is we wanna come down here to the base color, click on this little yellow dot here and let's give this guy an image texture. We're now gonna come here to the drop down, and we're gonna get that monkey um, image. And now if we hit Z and we go into material viewport, we can see that um, this projection is now applied to our mesh, which is really helpful. But we need to move things around over here. So in, in this front view here, um, if it's looking too messy, what you can do is actually deselect it over here. And then we can just hit the C key to get the selection tool. And we're just gonna select all of these um, faces at the front, just the ones at the front. In fact, you can hit face select here and just hit C and select all of these faces at the front. And you can see if we go to the side here, a lot of these on the side are not selected. 
um, we don't need to um, worry about those. So we could do that with a second projection if we have to. At the moment, we're just worried about all of the, f the faces at the front. So with all of these now selected, we're going to go U and project from view. And we can see here we have it. So now what we're going to do is we're just going to drag this over to the side to make this window a little bit bigger. And let's start moving this around. So I'm going to hit G with all of these selected, kind of roughly line up the nose first as a center point. Then we're going to enable proportional editing. Then we're going to select this vertex here on the nose and we're going to hit G and move. And if the proportional fall off is too large, you can roll your middle mouse wheel to kind of shrink it. So we're going to bring the nose over here on top of the nose here. And then we're going to select the corners of the mouth here, kind of move it up. This one is here as well, trying to just kind of make the mouth line up. And then we're going to select the middle vertex of the left eye here. And we're going to move it up till it's kind of on top of the eye here on the monkey. You can hit S to scale it. Just try and get all of these um, points lined up roughly with the eye. And then we're going to do the same thing with this guy here. Just moving this eye up. And once again, you can kind of come over here in your... Oh yeah, by the way, at the moment, we're not really seeing it because what we need to do, just go back to object data properties and make sure that the render is enabled for projection front. Now we can see it a lot better. I guess so that makes a lot more sense. So now you can just come over here and just grab these points, move them around till things line up a little bit better. So I'm gonna grab some of these, bring them out. You can kind of get the gist of things here. I'm also gonna just grab this ear here, just moving a point up like this. It's very, very messy, but we can always, um, you, can, you can take your time with this, do it as nice as you want. Find better reference images as well. So I'm just trying to bring this out here, bring this out here a little bit more. Just aligning the eye up. And you can see here on the side view, this is what it's looking like. Maybe bring this eye out here. Just till it all makes sense over here. So I'm gonna tab out of edit mode for now. And what I'm gonna do is I'm now gonna show you how we can transfer this mess over here to our really nice UV layout, which is this base one over here, right? So what we're gonna do is we're gonna to go to our texture painting mode here, and we're gonna come over here and we're gonna to go to image, and we're gonna go new, and we're gonna create a new texture, but we're gonna come here to the generator type and just make it UV grid, hit okay, and now we have our texture. This is gonna be our base texture. So let's come up here and just call it base, hit enter, and also make sure to go image and then save as, and then just save it to your desktop or wherever. And once you've done that, we can now hit N over here. That's gonna open up our properties panel. And then we can go to tools. And under these options here, we're gonna do a few things. So first of all, we need to pick our mode. So let's go to the mode here, and the mode's gonna be single image. And then we need to pick um, our base texture, which is this one we just created. So let's come here to the drop down select the base texture. And then we also need to select our UV map that it's gonna be using. In this case, it's base. We're gonna come down to our um, clone tool. Actually, you actually have to click on the clone brush first. So make sure you select the clone brush here. And now you're gonna see an option here called clone from paint slot. So we're gonna click on this clone from paint slot. We're gonna to come to the drop down here. And then we're gonna select our projection image. In this case, it's gonna be the monkey. And we wanna make sure our source clone UV map is gonna be the projection front. So once we've done that, we have the, the base set up here and we have our base image set up and we have a projection image set up. We're now gonna project our messy image onto this new map over here. So all we have to do is click here and start painting and we're gonna see the monkey appearing here at the front. So for now, I'm only gonna bother painting the front faces because those are the ones we um, projected. So just to give you an example of how this works, we can now see our monkey is projected onto here. And we can also give this guy a subdivision surface modifier and also just go into object mode if you want and just give it sh sh um, a shade smooth as well. But you can kind of really see how this would be really useful. So now we can just paint this onto this nice and well laid out UV map over here. And so for example, we wanted to do the sides here. If I start painting on the sides, it's gonna look really messy because we just don't have that information there as we didn't project from the side. But it's at this point where what you could do is you could get a second image of a monkey. Say for example, one that's more from the side. 
Then you can go over here to your UV maps and then create another projection. So you can say projection side, and then you can do the messy projection onto the side of the monkey. And then you can come back over here, leave the base as it is, but then all you have to do is come here and change to the new UV map and then change it to your second projection image over here. And then you can just repeat and paint some more information onto there. So using those, um, those two techniques, you can do quite a lot of interesting um, things. In fact, like I showed you guys before, I was able to use this process to make my um, little cockroach over here and kind of combine all of those messy projections into one final um, base image here, which looked a lot better. So this is the example, as you can see here. So once again, um, I hope you guys were able to find the image in the description below and able to just try this out. This was just introducing the concept to you and kind of explaining it. I hope it wasn't too complicated. I hope you guys were able to follow along. If you do, um, it'd be cool to see what you guys can make out of this. So um, yeah, it's just more a little bit of an informational tutorial showing you guys the basics of how to do this. I know it's a little bit messy, but you kind of get the, uh, the um, main idea. So I'll see you guys next time for another tutorial. I hope you guys enjoyed this. Stay safe.